I think when you keep harping on a message, either it can go one or two ways. You can lose the message or everybody can get behind it. And I think everybody's gotten behind it. And, um, you know, it's been nice to see even in wins or losses that we, uh, well, you can't even say losses, but, um, you know, we keep preaching that. And it's only allowed us to build on, on, on top of that as well. Hi everybody, welcome to Steelers Live. We are getting ready here at Heinz Field for a Thanksgiving matchup between the Steelers and the Ravens. The Steelers 10 and 0 undefeated as Cam Hayward remembered when he was talking to the media today. The Ravens at 6 and 4 and Adam Schefter just tweeted that outside linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, Pernell McPhee is also going on the reserve COVID-19 list, so he is out as well for Thursday's game. We know that Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins and Brandon Williams are also out for Thursday's game as well. But back to the Steelers at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex today. Vance McDonald returned to the team and was out on the practice fields. Ben Roethlisberger spoke to us earlier today and said it was going to be a light week due to it being a short week. So the Steelers officially activating Vance McDonald from the COVID-19 list. Zach Gentry, who suffered a knee injury in Jacksonville, was placed on IR. Kevin Rader was activated from the practice squad to the 53-man roster, and the Steelers also added to their practice squad Christian Kuntz, who has been with the Steelers before. Let's get now to the practice report. There are a lot of names still here on the list. Ben Roethlisberger was limited today with a quad injury. Uh, that is something new that we have not seen yet this week. Juju Smith-Schuster with a foot injury from the game in Jacksonville was limited as well. The bad news, Joe Hayden dealing with that knee injury. He did not practice today. Again, it is a short week, so we'll have to see where things take us. So uh, also Cam Hayward, who de was dealing with some bumps and bruises an ankle today listed as limited. So we will see what happens again. As we said, it's a short week, but in terms of Juju Smith Schuster today, offensive coordinator Randy Feekner said how important it would be to have number 19 out there on the field on Thursday. Well, I, I wouldn't want to play many games without Juju. He's a heart and soul of the group. Um, I said the same thing about Hines years ago. Um, he's tough. He does all those things. If, if Juju's capable of playing, he'll play. Um, you know, I, I know it's a short week, but uh, I, I've seen him. He, he's been in getting his treatment and, and doing the things he has to do. So uh, hopefully uh, uh, we'll get him to the stadium. And, and if he's capable of going, uh, he, he's going. It'll be great. James Conner rushed for a team high 89 yards on Sunday in Jacksonville, scored a touchdown against the Ravens in the first meeting between these two teams with the Steelers run game continues to be a hot topic after Coach Tomlin said last week it was insufficient. Here's more from quarterback Ben Roethlisberger on the Steelers offense. Uh, no, I don't I mean, I don't think it really matters how many times we run or throw it as long as we win the football game. Um, you know, we, we can beat the dead horse on the RPOs and the short passes are the same as runs. And, you know, we, we quote unquote need to run the ball X amount of times. No, we don't. We need to win a football game. Uh, and that's what we've been doing. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll throw it 70 times this week. Who knows? All right, the Ravens rushed for 265 yards during the Steelers week four meeting with them in Baltimore week eight, excuse me, meeting in Baltimore. The Ravens, as I said, will be without Mark Ingram and rookie J.K. Dobbins. Get Gus Edwards, who'd be their next man up. He had 16 carries for 87 yards and a touchdown during that game in Baltimore. Here's defensive captain Cam Hayward on Edwards. I think Edwards has to take the bulk of the carries. Um, you know, the good thing about it is we've seen him on tape. Uh, I think last year we played him a lot. Um, they didn't have Dobbins. Um, they rested Ingram, so they kind of relied on him for the most part. So, you know, we have some film on him, but, um, you know, he's going to take the bulk of the carries as he did last time. So, um, you know, that's going to have to take the pressure off Lamar. It gets their offensive going if they run the ball well. Um, but we have to be very stout up front, and we got to push him back. Some exciting news from the Pro Football Hall of Fame today. They announced their 25 semifinalists for the class of 2020 and two Steelers made their list. It'll be trimmed down to 15 finalists before announcing the class on the Saturday before the Super Bowl. Congratulations to Alan Fanica and Heinz Ward who are part of the semifinalists. And don't forget, it was already announced that the late Bill Nunn was selected as a contributor finalist. So we will stay tuned. For that again it's a short week so tomorrow is wednesday and at 4 p.m we will have our matchup show to preview this thanksgiving game against the steelers and the ravens so make sure you join us tomorrow that's going to do it for today have a great night everybody we'll see you then
What's up, Steelers Nation? It's James Conner. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steelers official YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything going on in Steel City. Thanks for being the best fans of football. Here we go.